and three, two, one, boom. And we are back with another episode of Scratch Gamers. This episode brought to you by Zen Real Clothing Co. Pick up your tees at zenrealclothingco.com. Well, actually, not just tees, tees and accessories and hoodies and all that good stuff. And uh, be sure to use code SG Podcast for 20% off select items. Okay, so this is Socratic Dialogue, as we often do, but this time we're going to talk about Who Run the World. Who, is that a song? I know, I was like, totally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I chose it, because it's so funny. Who Run the World? Girls. Da, 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 da. Girls. Yeah. I don't actually know the song. I just know it's like, girls yeah. is the answer. Yeah. <laughs> but so right now, there is a, um, what is it, primaries? Uh, yeah, yeah. They're going on in the United States. Yes, the Democratic primaries. Right. So, um, and you were saying before that oftentimes whoever's in the office right now, they usually win twice in a row? Uh, generally. Yeah. Generally. Okay. Yeah, generally. Okay, so like it's more common than not that they're gonna serve eight years versus just four. By stats wise, yeah. Okay. Yeah, statistically. So this really came about because when um, Trump's impeachment stuff was happening, mm-hmm. I I thought I was like, oh, cool, he's gonna be like impeached because they were like putting that everywhere and like you know social media. Well, and he's stuff. impeached in the House. That's the technical term. Okay. Okay. So you want to break that down? Like what? So it what has does to mean? pass like. Uh, different stages so it's not like only in one place so it's where there's three levels to the government right okay and the first was the uh the, the house uh-huh then goes then it the, goes to the senate so if it passes both of those then yes he would have been then he's kicked out yeah so what happened with like um nixon and stuff so uh i was reading that uh, nixon technically actually dro- uh, uh dropped out Oh, okay. So he didn't actually he didn't get impeached. Really, he, yeah, like we would have gotten impeached, but he didn't want to go through that, so he like, just left. Yeah, because that was too much information. I guess the the thing was very um, scandalous. Uh, yeah, like like it actually. I don't think he would have come back from that, so he just struck, stepped down. Interesting. Has anybody ever been impeached? Uh, I don't know. I think maybe one, but I don't remember. Okay, so it's like basically it's not, impossible. Uh yeah, it's very difficult to, yeah. Like I mean, they try it on Bill Clinton, but that wasn't gonna work. So Same okay, kind of thing, yeah. Oh, so that's so fascinating. So like all of this, it it's kind of like with the um with the coronavirus right now. Like it's being very like overhyped. Mm-hmm. You know, a lot of this stuff is just overhyped by the media, by like social media, yeah, by us ourselves. But mm-hmm. then when you really look into it, it's like how does this stuff really play out? And that's the whole premise behind behind like who runs the world. Because, mm-hmm. like, is it really the presidency who runs the world, or is it, like, the advisors? Well, they they are the ones who get those advisors, right? Like, who, like they hire their advisors. Right, no, no, so, 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 But, like, our, let, let's say, like, the army general that's been there for, like, 20 years. Mm-hmm. He's still calling the shots. Yeah, right? yeah, they're still there, yeah. That's what I mean. It's yeah. like, yeah, like, you get a revolving presidency, but is that more of, like, um... So yeah, this is where that that line comes into question. So like for instance, uh, this is the hypocrisy of the Democratic Party right now. Okay. Which is um, they talk about oh he's like a warmonger or all this and that, right? Okay. But then he he. Um, Wait, who are you talking about here? You say we? Uh, he. Uh, Trump. Okay. When yeah. Trump uh, sets out like the the um, what's the thing, the budget for the army mil- military. Uh huh. Well, uh, they all said yes. Well, not all. Like there are some that say no, but most Democrats said yes. Right. So it's like it's so a, it's like we try and it, it's sort of like this. It's sort of like um. Like but they, no, but they're saying they were complaining like, oh, he's a Russian asset. You don't want him having the red button or whatever. Mm-hmm. But then you're uh, saying yes to these things, right? So it's like here are where they do cahoots together. <laughs> Right, right, right. So, so yeah. um, I liken it to like how businesses work, right? So you have different departments and you have different like managers and like directors and all mm-hmm. that stuff, right? Mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, whoever sits in that executive director position or CEO position, yeah. it's like you are going to take all the blame. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, but at the end of the day, it's like that person's not actually like doing the small daily tasks. No. So, but but the big guy gets to blame, yeah. Yeah. So, like, yeah. 
It all comes back to it. It, it all comes down to lobbying, like for mm-hmm. what you want. Like let, let's say if I wanted to run like this specific campaign in a company. Yeah. Right. And they're like, yeah, go ahead. Sometimes the the one in charge, like the ED or the CEO, like they don't actually know what it is I did on mm-hmm. that. Yeah. But then if it if it all goes to like, you know, all goes to hell, then it's like you're the one to blame. Yeah. Because you're the one who like will see it. Yeah. Or should have final say over it. But oftentimes that's not the case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. E- even if it's the other things too, if you remember like succession with the scandal in the company, but then it always, it goes back to the top. It doesn't no right. matter, even though if he wasn't, te- if he was involved or not involved, it still goes, because it happened under your reign. Right, yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like um, the, the boat. So basically in succession, like they had this like boat that like people were, like a lot of like Cruise, people were, yeah. were dying Cruise, yeah. and like a lot of crazy stuff happened. And then like, yeah, the CEO, even though if he didn't know about it, but they're like, yeah, how could he not know about it? Yeah, but yeah, I know, but I mean, like, but that's there are cases like, they yeah, would be. Yeah, they don't actually know, and then you know, yeah. 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 So yeah. it's like we we overly focus on the wrong person. Mm-hmm. You know, it's more of a systematic issue, systemic issue, than a uh, single person mm-hmm. issue. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. like everyone's like complaining that like, oh, Trump's in office, but it's like, yeah, but he he still has like people working for him like if if yeah. he, he's not like a supreme leader you know like if mm-hmm. he wants to do something people have to be like yeah sure we'll do it for you right like he's not actually going into like that's what strikes are for right like people go on strike like there's a teacher strike going on right now right they're like we yeah. want more money so they're just gonna strike mm-hmm. but if they're like no we'll accept this low pay then they wouldn't go on strike yeah you know what I'm saying so it's like it's like he's not he he might be the one to blame for it but he's not the one executing the orders uh it goes back to that whole like nazi psychology thing right like obedience to authority right right where we're like it's like okay like hitler's calling the shots but these these ss people are the ones like who are actually carrying out the orders yeah like, i don't been, like no but i don't blame them no, no what do you mean? The, the ones that are carrying the orders Okay, or is that what you're saying? Yeah, I'm saying like they should be to blame. So it's like you're kind of complaining over the wrong no, person. No, uh, no, I don't. I, in that sense, like I don't really. It's it's the person who made the decision. It's I don't right. think no, no, it but, goes to. But what I'm saying is like if you resources. actually if you actually think it's a bad decision, then why are you doing it? But you you're not in that position. Like yeah, but like you you can have opinions, but that's not. You can yeah let, let it drop your job or whatever, but it's yeah. like, it's not. I don't think it's that easy to do that. Kind but of but that's also why they they tried these people right like for war crimes. Mm, yeah, but not the soldiers necessarily. I think they did. Uh, no, in position in uh, so, uh, I believe it was the ones in high ranking. Okay, positions. yeah, but still. It's yeah, like, and technically, yeah. I right, would, it's yeah. the same thing. That's that's basically yeah. the same thing. You're just like where where you're drawing the line. You're yeah. basically just drawing the line at a higher level. Yeah, but yeah, it's the exact yeah, like same generals thing. And what, yeah, right. Yeah, but it's still yeah. the same thing. Yeah, yeah, right. Mm-hmm. So that's what I mean. It's like you're blaming one thing when you should turn the finger towards yourself. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah, um, but then then it goes on a deeper level where yeah. you start talking about like money and politics, mm-hmm. which is what. Um, but this is how like. It's always been, you know, you see it in Game of Thrones, you see it in like, um, like international trade deals. It's really the corporations that are funding these, these co- countries and politicians, yeah. you know, to do their work. It's like, mm-hmm. it's like, I'm going to give you $40 million for your campaign and I'm going to promise you speaking deals, right? Because like after the presidencies are like done, yeah. you have to go on like speaking tours at these big mm-hmm. corporations. Mm-hmm. And we're gonna pay you like, like, crazy sums of money just to speak for an hour. Yeah, you know. Yeah. So it's like, okay, you grease my pockets, I'll grease your wheels. Yeah. So uh, yeah, that that's been happening a long time, but it, uh, generally it it wasn't like that, right? At first. Okay. Uh, but see, well, but, but then but it once the question, that like, happens, who runs the world? Yeah, so I know. Like, I know. Is it the the one in charge, or is it like the system? 
Like, you know what I mean? Like, we're, we're, we're blaming one thing, but we should blame the whole thing, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I know, I know what you're saying, um, but I, I guess that's why people feel like it's not working anymore. They don't trust the government, right? Right, totally. Yeah. But what, what I think is, like, I don't even think it's possible to, like, run it any other way because it'll always end up falling under the same issue. Uh... I I I think uh, things do end up getting corrupt, but yes, I'm saying yeah, yeah. there will be times where it what, does what get was that, better. Uh, what was that a uh, Dark Knight line? Live long enough to see yourself become the villain. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> right. It's true. It's like it's always starts off good, but then like somewhere along the line, it'll like the founding fathers. They had um, mm -hmm. great intentions of like yeah. starting America. Like the the actual idea mm -hmm. of America is amazing. But you they know, said like freedom, also, like, like yeah, all that, right, and like right. we're gonna govern not by the rule of like kings and gods, right? You know, we're gonna use logic mm -hmm. to like govern things, and then it just became corrupted. Well, they they also explained how it was gonna get corrupted. Uh, how? I don't With know. money and politics. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. so they knew. <laughs> they knew. Yeah, That's, like a special interest. Yeah, yeah. They had some similar, like it's very interesting to see. Like they kind of knew like what could happen like to cause um the corruption but then right. uh that's why they created those different systems that it could potentially also try to uh fix itself not fix itself but like have a way to fix it too right right to like um set it on the correct course again yeah yeah well again they're also humans who made these things so sometimes you don't really think about what happens in the future right you don't know everything that's true yeah of... they didn't know about the internet yeah yeah so in some ways, the internet is actually good in that way because I think it would have just been going on the way it is. Um, yeah, we would have just been blind to it. Yeah, but uh, if that goes back into the thing about um, people saying that we're we're entering into a state of enlightenment, mm -hmm. like um, not not because of the internet, but like cyclically, like mm -hmm. historically, like if you follow that like um, that woo woo stuff, you know, they're mm -hmm. like, oh, we're entering the age of Pisces, which is the age of enlightenment, some 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 crap like that. But what? Oh, what? Oh, okay. Yeah, they they just like they make it like very um like we're entering in a period of where we're gonna become awakened because the yeah. moon has aligned with Pisces and stuff like that. Okay, yeah. Um, but but if you actually think about it, like the internet has provided us that source of enlightenment. Yeah. So maybe we are entering that stage and like. I'm I'm making fun of it, but it's like no, I, it's I really uh, the what's going on, you know? Yeah, but not because I, of like the star I don't think alignments, it's but it's the because of the internet. I think it's the internet. You know? It's yeah, the internet. Saying. It's yeah, of course, yeah. The internet. Yeah, it's the access to the information that we would not have had. Like the yeah, things that we really were learning is, about yeah. are, are very um, uh, high level. Yeah, but not main. They don't really talk about it in the mainstream too, right? Yeah, I, I can't. I literally can't even watch news anymore. I don't watch news anymore because it mm -hmm. seems so like. Like, all right, so right now, like, there's a whole thing about, like, uh, actually, I'll take Corona, for example. Sure. So, um, they're, they're all, like, making this big deal, whatever, whatever, but it's, like, it's really not that bad. Like, what is it, five cases? In Canada. Yeah, so, mm -hmm. why is everyone wearing a mask? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you think this one, this five people are going to somehow get to you? Like, what's going on? <laughs> Well, I mean, I guess these five quarantine people. Yeah, you know what I mean. So it's like, but but again, going back to like who run the world marketing. So it's like, okay, well, we can. I swear, like, there's a. I sw I swear, I saw like a. I don't know if it was like a a Gucci mask or something, no, but I, like I think f like the thing is fear sells, right? Yeah, hundred percent. That's yeah, what that totally. is. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and people we sell some products. Yeah. I mean, all the masks are sold out, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah the, all the masks are sold out. <laughs> and um, another thing is like Y2K, like all of the canned goods were sold out. Mm -hmm. You know, all the yeah. bottles of water got sold out. Like it, it's almost like every every five years we come up with like a mass extinction idea in order to make us all purchase more products. Yeah, well, it's kind of a problem in China, but yeah. It, totally, but not here. No. And yeah, so many I, people I, wear masks, yeah, but why? Yeah. why? It's almost become like a fashion state statement. Well, I don't. Yeah, like I, I think 
I don't know if it's there. I mean, there are masks for fashion, um, <laughs> but uh, I think it's just more people are. I think it's just a fear. Like people don't get all the information, or they read just the headlines, and the headlines seem very scary. Yeah, totally. And then they fall for that kind of thing, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but if you read more into it, it's like the ca like the cases are still very low outside of China, mm -hmm. and it's only mainly in China. So, uh, but then. And then, then the increase of racism starts. Yeah, that's, that's the other. Thing. That's like a big thing that's going on right now. Yeah. 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 Like the uh, the restaurant called Wuhan. Yeah. But yeah, like, like, what, like yeah. what do you think that <laughs> somehow because it's called this, like? Yeah, yeah. I mean, but that's. But the, it's funny. That's even a marketing thing. There. Yeah, it's that's like, you know, it's just like, yeah. like man, just change your name. You know. Mm-hmm. Yeah it's weird uh yeah i mean so anyway like going back to the politics thing is just that like i want to see uh because most people run their campaign with those uh, big money donations right right totally and we're having well he's running for the second time but we're having someone that's actually it's not just him now there's more uh even um andrew yang okay and Tulsi Gabbard, and I believe it's, I'm not sure if there's any others, but they ran their campaign with rain, uh, raising uh, like small donations from people. Mm -hmm. So, But see, okay, what, what uh, I'm thinking is this, though. So even at that level, like, all right, sure, you take yeah. money out of politics, all, all out of like political donations. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's one of the big hot button issues right now. It's like, oh... Corporations are funding these politicians. Okay, yeah. let's say that's gone. But still, you're going to go into office and you're going to be like, oh, wait, trade deals. Yeah. So you've you solved one issue, but you haven't solved the real issue. Like, we're all overly focusing on still an incomplete issue. It's not the fact that there's money being paid to these politicians. It's the fact that when you get in, you're going to see how things are interwoven and interconnected. Yeah. And you can't undo those things. Uh, technically, yes, because that's what Trump ran on, and that's why he won, right? No, 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 right. No, no, I'm saying you can't undo the trade deals that are in place. You can, but what are, what are the cause and effect? Yeah, but that's what Trump did, right? What do you mean? I understand. Like, that, that was why NAFTA was changed, right? Okay. Because he ran on that same thing uh, of, of trade deals. These trade deals are bad for us. Okay. So that's why also Trump was put into that position to to figure out a trade deal, right? Okay. You can do a trade deal, but do it in a way that also protects the workers here. So a lot of those trade deals, what happened was it was more beneficial to the businesses than the people that were here living in, in that country. Okay, so Trump fixed that? Uh, yeah, so a lot of those things that he's adding those... Um, so you're saying he did something good? Yeah, I think there is some, uh, so some things that he's doing good, but like I would so look saying... into like how good... Are those decisions totally, totally like totally. how? Um, maybe like, there's better ideas. Maybe he didn't have a good idea, but no, but he ran on things that were what people wanted to uh, talk about like, or I'm, to deal with. I'm more highlighting the fact that Trump did something good, and yeah. we never talk about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's like yeah. I think I think like okay. So there was an audio that got leaked uh, of I don't know when this audio was taken or it's, or said, but it was Trump saying that. Um, uh, if if he had chosen um, if Hillary had chosen Bernie, mm -hmm. he would have had a tougher time winning, because he said, he, in his own words, that he's worse, like he's uh, he's worse than him on trade deals. Meaning, uh, Bernie's better than him figuring out. Like Bernie oh, is, really? yeah, he said that. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> and he didn't know. I guess he got he was recorded, so it was funny. So see. It's funny because like um, uh, what's his name Eddie Bravo? Yeah. Uh, he like he's very into conspiracies and stuff, right? Mm -hmm. And like he was like everyone's like hating on Trump and stuff, but then he was talking about like we don't focus on the good that he's done. Yeah. No. Right. And I was like, well, what do you mean? But like, because everyone's so focused on like, oh, he's a misogynist and whatever. But it's like, but he also fixed this incorrect trade deal that was affecting workers here well yeah i don't know how well he fixed it that you'd have to talk to whoever 
knows more about that totally but he was doing something that people wanted right 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 okay yeah so like adding those adding those things uh for instance um on china those um tariffs those tariffs wait hold on so technically those tariffs do help actually this is kind of funny when you think about it so countries are run like companies Mm -hmm. right they're like just giant businesses yeah essentially that's what it is that's what trade deals are that's what like negotiations are yeah and yet we always we always choose in a presidency non-business people uh so the first time we but had I, I don't know person, actually no actually i think we, i think we talked about it before what i don't know if it's beneficial to necessarily understand put someone no 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 put someone in in business you can have people in those positions who know more about that sort of yeah, stuff but, but if you're calling the shots it's i, like I feel like government at... is more about services and not necessarily that okay. only business is what i'm saying it's about it's also about services to the people right yeah but in business you have to think about that too that's hr yeah but not everyone's a hr position right? no no what i'm saying is like you need, <laughs> you need to have some understanding of business but if you have like okay so you're i, I, I wasn't people, thinking in the sense of i don't think like, hr necessarily business i think of like ceos as business right like like oh, but, you know, I'm saying, I, I didn't I'm mean a, it like that i'm saying a country is run like a company Okay. Yeah. Uh, with right. yeah, you have to have Benefits, all those people. Yeah, services. Yeah. Right. What is our? What is? What are we offering the general public? Right. The, the general world, yeah, yeah, yeah. which is like different countries. What are we offering other countries in terms of trade? Yeah. How much? Are no, we no, spending of course, of in course. It's, yeah, and it's about jobs, right? The main thing about all these uh, candidates is jobs. <laughs> so you're right, right, right. So, but all these people that are running don't understand how to run their own business. I think we just cracked it here. This is actually what the real issue is. It's like these mm-hmm. people who are in positions of power don't understand economics. Uh, well, maybe they understand economics because that's more of like a like a higher level thought, but like they don't understand how to run a business. So it would make sense because you're like, oh, he changed it in favor of the people. It's like, yeah, because he understands how businesses would be run. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. Maybe we need a person in power who is a business person. Somebody who's, you know... Intelligent, somebody who's Andrew Yang. <laughs> Honestly, I listened to his podcast on Joe Rogan. I was like, "This is this is actually like smart." Where he's like, "We're no, just going to name a bridge." Yeah, we're going to name a bridge like right. the Telus Bridge. And yeah, then yeah, yeah. In order for you to keep the name Telus, we gotta you gotta pay for it. Yeah. And then the money you pay to us is what money we'll give back to the people. Mm-hmm. That makes so much logical sense because you're a business yeah. person. Yeah. No. 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 I, we need in, people in a lot of in things, power who are business people. I mean, that's why he's still up there on the debates, right? He's the one that's the outside candidate that has been doing uh, pretty decent. His, <laughs> and uh, and Ronnie, uh, Ronnie Chang, I think I forgot his name, Ronnie yeah. Chang, the comedian, he's like, he's like, we need an Asian in, uh, poli- <laughs> in uh, politics. Why? Because we just want stuff to work. Right. Like, we don't care about your, like, your yeah. racism uh-huh. and like all this. <laughs> we, we just want it to work. Right, you know? and that sounds like how how Andrew Yang is focusing on. It's like, yeah, actually, what is the best I, solution? I, I do like, like Andrew on, Yang and a lot of things. What he had said in, I've, yes, in those Andrew Yang's my boy. Get him, get him, Andrew but, Yang. I, I mean, he's really hitting his point of you know, thousand dollars a month. Right? That's great, though. Like, no, 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 it is good. Uh, universal basic income, basically. Yeah, more time, yeah. yeah. So, but uh, like, uh, there are uh, debates around. Um, like other things that he has said if those are good or not right but like again these are just we're just people that are just thinking about ideas right and in general in in the general thing i think he's actually pretty decent yes okay that's my boy but he's still pretty low in the polls but like but, we will but all i'm saying is that mm-hmm. we need a business person in charge because if if it is truly run like a business which it is there's no denying that why are you gonna have like a like a philosopher? You know, I have a philosophy degree. A lot <laughs> yeah, of, I know like, come on, yeah. bro. Like, you don't understand how this stuff works. You understand how it works, like theoretically. Or right, like, right. You want someone that has experience, real of this world, world or real world objectivity. Experience. Actually, this, this, this brings me back to um, this brings me back to like um, one of the reasons why I really wanted to get a job too, and I'm so happy I got a job is because like. I was so into like the spiritual world mm-hmm. for so long, mm-hmm. you know, yoga, martial arts, and like I was deep, I was deep into it. Yeah. And then I was always like, but like 
the the Tao, like yin yeah. and yang. You need to understand both sides of the coin to understand the totality of the situation. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I was so like in one direction, I didn't understand the other direction. So in getting a job, I fully understand the other direction. Well, I mean, like I'm only like not even two years in, <laughs> but like right. But like yeah, now, still... I now I understand. It. I'm like, yeah. oh wait, this is actually not as bad as us spiritual people were saying. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of like that. It's like like if you take a politician who's too airy fairy, you need to bring him with some like like business some like understanding of like how things are really run yeah you know yeah. and spending time with different people is like so beneficial when i was in like the spiritual world of like yoga martial arts like all i'd spend my time was with yoga martial arts people yeah so i was in a vacuum so i was like oh yeah everyone thinks like me and i started going to parties mm-hmm, like mm-hmm. outside of my circle and then i was like oh these people don't care at all about yoga martial arts they care about like providing for their families mm-hmm. Like going on vacations to Cancun, yeah, all this stuff, and those are the ones. Those are the people that are voting. Those are the ones who. Right, but but at the same time, it's like I hadn't even conceived this. I was in a vacuum. So like in spending time with other people that don't think like you, you realize like, oh, only I think this way. Yeah. <laughs> but this is the problem with politicians, where yeah. it's like if you spend all your time in the political sphere of just like dictating things in a theoretical manner, where it's idealistic and like if everything works out this is how it would go. Mm-hmm. But it's like people who are in business who actually run businesses to make them work, they understand like, no, sometimes you got to get your hands dirty. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But the traditional politician doesn't understand this. Uh, well, the traditional politician... Uh, doesn't have a business degree. No, they're doing the bidding of the corporations that have paid them, right? Yeah, totally, yeah. 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 Which are not necessarily beneficial to the people. Right. Yeah. So that's why Makes sense, yeah. that's why there's a change happening over there. That's why the ones who are popular are the ones who uh ran against that. Yeah. Right? yeah that's why I mean that, that's how Trump ran. That's why like people have to understand why Trump won. And it's not because he's sexist or it's not like everyone racist thought or, whatever, or yeah. racist or whatever. No, they they were just tired. They voted for him because they needed something different. Yeah, they it, it was tired of the status quo. Yeah, and 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 Actually, one of the main things, like the water, it was like a big middle finger to like the establishment. Yeah, exactly, exactly. That's exactly what it was, and it's not like anything like the whole Americas or half of America is this way. No, they wanted it. That's true, actually. That's see, that's really insightful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I, yeah. I think that's what people have to think about. That's that's why Bernie Sanders is popular. That's why Andrew Yang is popular. That's why these other guys that are running their campaign the way differently are very popular. But there's still a very in the democratic side. There's still a very older segment of people that are uh, still do think the other way, but they're the more on the older, older uh, age group. Yeah, you can see them. The conservative kind of like yeah, that that don't uh, they got used to those old ways that was done before. That's um, true. That's yeah. true. Because if you look at the um, the debates right now, like Bernie and like Andrew Yang and like Tulsi Gabbard, it's like. They're all very, and all of them have been on uh, Joe Rogan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they, what they literally they, all of them. Yeah, have been and then on Joe and Rogan. then they they complain about Joe Rogan. They attack him. No, but like most of America is like Joe Rogan, bro. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, <laughs> and that's another thing. This is you shouldn't if you because like, they talk about unity, but they're talking about only within the party. That's like the no, you have to be unity within the country. It's like why you got to hate on each other. It's like there are a lot of things that are very similar that everyone needs to deal with. Yeah. right that that's where those common things should be there and that's why um even though like trump or uh, even though bernie's uh says he's like a, a socialist or a socialist democrat mm-hmm. there was back in 2016 in those interviews there was people that would be that would have voted for him even on the republican side because right, they right. they uh, a lot of times it's they don't trust the politicians anymore they don't believe them they know that they're lying uh and they felt like uh, at least with Bernie Sanders, that we know what we're getting with him because he's just he can always the truth. That's right, the, right, right. Yeah, yeah. Because he's not. Because you can say one thing, but if you're beholden to the corporations that have paid you, then that's why they don't trust you anymore. That's why a lot yeah. of things. That's why you can. You, it's like forty percent of people don't vote in America because they don't trust the system. So how do you win? Mm. So you have to bring those people into the game again, uh, into the voting. That's how you can bring somewhat change, and that's what these guys are trying to do. But then corporations are like, how do I, how do I buy them? 
by who the politicians these ones that are like outside the so that's the thing the yeah that's why you can see like how they really how they attack bernie and how they're like yeah, doing all this because like, he's very um anti-establishment uh, yeah well, what's the like he's very um like he's his in his ways right he'll follow his like uh what's that there's Set like a, in his way yeah but there's an actual like phrase or something like that like i sent the word for that but like yeah he's set in his ways like it's hard to hard to change it because he's been like that for so many years right right, right and he's right. been voting the same way for so many years so uh so like he's been uh that way <laughs> so there's no buying. so it's very different yeah it's very difficult to i think even by by him interesting so that's why it's it, it's, it's almost like when you put somebody with fresh eyes into the system they're gonna point out all the flaws and that's what yeah. they're afraid of yeah because they're like wait you could just realize that yeah. i'm doing a bad job so i think it was in the recent debate where because booty judge is somewhat um like somewhat in second place i guess but like he's been like <laughs> the way he brought it up is like uh, his campaign is run by like 40 billionaires who have paid him paid booty judge wow. and then but then uh uh the amount of money that sanders is is uh making is a lot and these are all from just people like normal people mm. a- uh, averaging out at 18 dollars what uh, averaging at oh, 18 dollars yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah yeah so it's like it's it's interesting how it's really telling you where things are going. Yeah, like yeah. which which way the votes are going to yeah. sway. And generally, uh, also by stats, who wins elections are the ones with the most money. Right. Generally, yeah. Interesting. So it's very interesting to see how uh, how the uh, like attacks are happening between the establishment and the, and the new people. It's funny. It's funny because like there is definitely this change happening, and then there's also this like side where people don't see it i uh like, no no i mean like oh, okay. I'm, like other people like uh when i was saying before people didn't know right. about like the um Neuralink or what's happening with spacex or like all that stuff it's like you can get into these vacuums like i was with the yoga martial arts like mm-hmm. you into vacuums yeah, yeah, yeah. and like not yeah. know any of this stuff mm-hmm. so it, it's like if you have your finger on the pulse you could see where everything's turning yeah but if you don't then it's like you're just hoping yeah a prayer yeah you know but also like, like yeah i think even even bernie says it too it's like you, even if as you pick the politician it's like not it's not necessarily like everything can be done because you need to have it's it's like it's everyone has to be involved technically right? okay that's the way he's running his campaign it's like we have to uh because it's it, to pass things it's not like that easy to pass so you have to elect people that are uh uh correct for those positions that you want right it's so fun it's funny so, it, it's funny because like because um, he generally says in those debates it's like no we have to it has to be a collective we have to all do that right like, totally, yeah, yeah. if we even if you just pick say you just put put in bernie but then his other uh democratic don't want to don't want to do it yeah are, they can't execute are part of yeah. the establishment then yeah, it's yeah. going to be very difficult to yeah 100 it, it's so funny because like again this is like very much like business because like in my own personal experience, I've seen things like ha- this happen in businesses mm-hmm. where it's like you need the correct people around you or else you're, you're not going to get anything done. Yeah. You could have the greatest idea. You're like, we should get this done. But then if nobody knows how to execute on it, right. then well, yeah. it's not going to move anywhere. Right. You know. But the, the way I feel is like, I don't know, maybe this is like my martial arts mentality, but it's like if you're higher than me, I'm going to do what you say because yeah. like, or if I don't want to do it, then why am I in that job? Mm-hmm. You know, I feel like people are motivated by job security. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, and of like, course. And, like, they don't want to be found. What I'm, like, really finding is that people are, one, motivated by job security, and, two, um, they don't want to be found out that they're incompetent at their jobs, mm-hmm. you mm-hmm. know? And, like... See, but- this, this is, this is I, I think this is where... Um, what's his name? Uh, Andrew Yang's, where he debates in here, would say, like, see the... the universal basic income would then give you the freedom to then go where you want to go right totally yeah i agree so like this is this is where he wins these arguments uh with this kind of idea yeah it's funny too because like bringing back to martial arts it's like i guess i got that mentality of like like mm. i think he was saying it was funny in the recent one he's like uh like we like like this will help out people that are like um who work uh or uh, like a daycare person at home, 
like not a daycare, like a a mom that works at home or takes care of the kids at home. Sorry. Right, right, right. So like she covers them, and then he, yeah, yeah, he totally. made a joke where it's like it's also like for artists because you know most artists don't make a lot of money, yeah. don't make money. Yeah, so here's a way to also you know be able to do what you need or want to do, and then uh, that's also, true. You'd have more people focusing on. Um, what it is that they're great at and then you'll just get great yeah. things. It's funny because like, um, well, I'm going to finish this thought first and then sure. I'll move on yeah. to the other one. Yeah. But like the um, the martial arts mentality where it's like you can't hold that rank if you're not at that level. Mm -hmm. So like I... Well, yeah, yeah. Like I, I often get told mm -hmm. like, oh, you're really good at that or like whatever. I'm like, mm -hmm. but to me, it's confusing when I hear that. I'm like, are you saying you're not? Like, why are you in that job then? You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Because it's like, right. of course I'd be good at it because this is my job. You know? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It, I, I shouldn't hold that rank if I can't execute on it. You know? I shouldn't be a black belt if I can't do all the black belt things. Mm -hmm. I shouldn't be in this job role if I don't have education experience or the ability to execute on it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, it makes yeah, no yeah. sense to me. But this is how our world is run. Mm -hmm. A bunch of people like with jobs that they're focused on job security and being found out that they're phony. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay, so going back to the whole universal basic income thing, mm -hmm. uh, in in uh, the Incas in Peru, mm -hmm. they, they were one of the most advanced civilizations, not advanced, like the happiest civilization, but the reason why is because everyone could eat. They had so much food that like you could feed four people per one or something like that. Right. Like they just had so much food. Yeah. So if, you're, if your food, cost of living your shelter if food water shelter yeah like if you look at maslow's hierarchy yeah, if, yeah, you, yeah, if yeah. you achieve all of those things the mm -hmm. last thing is self-actualization right. so it's like what do you want to do with your life right right and i feel like that's why universal basic income and why andrew yang's opinions but are that, that sounds very like socialist what you just said what so. what i just said yeah but like yeah totally yeah, yeah that, I, I don't think socialism is wrong i just think no i know yeah we I have know. a leader everybody wants to be all right so like people are like oh i want I want like socialists are bad, right? Communists are bad, right? Yeah. But it's like, but you don't realize you're in the exact same system. They're just not telling you it's that system, yeah. Because you're not making the decisions, but somebody else is. Yeah, but like I don't know, like in America, like that term socialism. I don't. I think it's changing, but it was like a bad term. But know, like, yeah, a lot exactly. of things that's that they I, that's do. That's why I said communism. Yeah, it's yeah. Like, it's but also a lot bad of term. Yeah, it's like, but a lot of things that they do already inside the country are are very communist and socialist. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. So it's like. <laughs> no, but that's what I'm saying. It's, it's like you're you don't realize you're eating your vegetables because they put sugar on it. Yeah. You know. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. And then, uh, but what's funny is if you look at like communism and socialism, that's how kings and kingdoms, well, kingdoms were run. Yeah. That that's what a like, totalitarian government is. It's, yeah. You're run by one king. Like you yeah, look at our history. That's how we've always lived. That's generally true. Yeah, because it's like, how do you? How do you govern a bunch of people that don't yeah. understand what's going on? You know? Yeah. Some people don't care enough to understand what's going on. So why are you going to penalize them mm -hmm. for not knowing? Just mm -hmm. just let me live my life, bro. Give me my thousand bucks a month. I mean, so it, I can you can tell. Yeah, you can see from history, like what happened in, in France. Like there's no more of that monarch system because they weren't taking care of their people. What do they do? They revolted. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So true, 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 true. So you just need good governments. Yeah. But it's like. You need good people to create good governments. Yeah, yeah. That's right people issue. for the right job. Yeah, yeah it, that, but then that goes back to what I'm saying about a lot of frauds out there yeah. who are like, they, they're they focused on job security and being found out that they're phony. Yeah. Right people for the right job. Mm -hmm. That's what you need. Like, if you if you literally can't do this job, I really don't think you should be here, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. It's, it's, not, it's not like a negative thing. Like, I don't want you to lose your job security, like, but you're forcing my hand. Right. You know, right, right, right. Yeah, like, it can't be all freaking kumbaya, bro. Like, yeah, no, no, no. But that's what I learned, right? Through like getting getting an actual job and leaving the whole like spiritual world, because like when you're like obsessed with like the yoga martial arts spirituality, they always tell you it's like kumbaya. We all gotta like live together in love. Mm -hmm. But it's like, but then the world won't work. Yeah, you know, you need the negativity for positivity to exist. Yeah, you know. So I wonder what it's gonna be like if like everyone gets like universal basic income, <laughs> people live just we're just gonna have like an artist artistic society. 
yeah, yeah. We, we went to I escape mean, games yesterday. Right. So who's going to run escape games? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, unless like the person's obsessed with escape games. Like, right. But remember the guy that like checked us in? I was like, you actually like your job. I could tell. Mm-hmm. Remember that guy who was like so chipper and happy? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right? So yeah. it's like maybe he would actually be working. Right. There. I mean, there's, yeah, uh, it's also a perspective. It depends on how you look at your job. If you just look at it as... Uh, uh, but the thing is, I don't self-identify with my job. No, 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 I know. I'm just saying, like, when you do your job, you're doing it right. You're not, it's, I'm saying, like, uh, with some respect. Or like, if you don't really care about your job, you're going to not give a shit. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I feel that. Right. So, like, those because sort of things... Because you're focused on job security yeah. and not being found out to be a phony. Yeah, yeah. So You're not he, the right person for the right job. Right. Yeah. Right. That, that's what it comes down to. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Cracking the codes of the matrix. Mm-hmm. See, but that's what I'm saying. It's it's like system. It's systemic. Like when we're like, yeah. who run the world? Well, the funny thing is we all run the world. Yeah. Because we all play our part. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. And if you I have mean, the it's, yeah. wrong person with the wrong job, mm-hmm. I mean, if you don't have the right person, I guess that is correct. <laughs> if you have the wrong person in the wrong job, then that's why you get broken systems. Yeah, that's how all things. Yeah, I mean, think about. I mean, yeah, it goes to everything, right? Not, not. It's like. Um, so maybe it's not who run the world. It's businesses. Maybe we run the world because we are a part of these businesses. Because we are the world. Yeah, you get what I'm saying. Yeah, it's like there is no one ruler. It's like an aggregate system of confused people moving from one thing to the next. Mm-hmm. Focused on fear instead of love. Is it wickedness or weakness? Damn. Kendrick Lamar. Okay. It's Tupac 2.0. But you know what I'm saying though? Because like like if if you're focused on fear, right? If fear is your primary motivator, which is like, I need job security because I'm afraid and I don't want to be found to be a phony because I'm afraid, Mm -hmm. then you have the wrong people for the wrong job. Right. But if you focus on things you love, so it's like, I'm really obsessed with X, then I'm gonna get a job in X. Right. And then you're gonna have the right person with the right job. We're gonna have like a lubricated system. Mm-hmm. You know? We're gonna run smoothly. Right. Right. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, yeah. It's gonna be interesting to see what happens this year. Yeah, that's true. In America. <laughs> Do you think well yeah, big corporations I feel like in the future it's just gonna come down to like like four corporations that run everything sort of like coke i mean yeah you know like the coca-cola company bought pepsi yeah so now like you think that there's coke versus pepsi it's like haha fun fact we're getting all of the money Mm -hmm. right you know i think at the end of the day it's like i think that's what they're doing i mean technically yeah a lot of it is like that yeah you don't even realize who it's under one but it looks like many right yeah oh i forgot what they called that not an umbrella corporation. Oh. I mean, even Amazon's trying to do that. So Amazon's probably going to be one of those. Yeah, totally. Yeah. yeah. So we're going to see things like, um, like it would be really funny if you looked at like Netflix, Disney Plus, mm-hmm. HBO, and you're like, oh wow, these are like separate systems. But then you find out that it's one streaming service that's actually running all three. Right. Yeah. In some ways, it happens like that. You'll have multiples at first, and then some do good. Right, that will survive. Yeah, and some don't, and that won't survive. Um, so they they have those actually. Like um, that's what. So the simplest example is like Coca Cola, right? You see, um, like root beer, like uh, what are some like? You see, Crush. Mm-hmm. Name some pops: Mountain Dew, Crush, um, Brisk, Brisk. <laughs> Yeah, right, right. So you see all those, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then it's actually owned by the Coca Cola company, so they yeah. have like a diversified set of products. Yeah. But right. at the end of the day, it's like one parent company. Mm. Right. Yeah. I feel like that's that's gonna be in the future. Like, there's gonna be a bunch of small businesses and very few multinational corporations. I honestly believe small businesses are the future, man, because you can control everything. No, generally it is small businesses what runs America. And it's also what uh, runs uh, Canada. I, when I well, was yeah, saying that, the country, like yeah, eighty percent of Canada's like small businesses. Mm-hmm. It's like fascinating. You're like, wow. All right. Yeah, I mean, it's it's in a lot of places, of course. Makes sense. Yeah, I mean, big corporations sense. they make a lot of money. That's why they can take over because they're multinational. Yeah, so that's why they can uh, they buy off politicians. Yeah, so yeah. then they get what they want, but it doesn't help those small businesses. Totally. Yeah. I agree. So. 
So, um, yeah. just flipping gears, like, how's mm-hmm. Canada doing? <laughs> like, we're so, but that's how you know, like, um, the pageantry of, like, the American political system uh, that it like, happens for, like, two years before the voting even happens. But, like, in Canada, it's like. Because it's so long, I guess. That's why. That's what I'm saying. Here, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's such pageantry. Here, it's like, it, it's like, it shows up for, like, two months. And it's you like, oh, we're voting. president oh, or welcome. prime minister here. And that's it. That's done. <laughs> I remember that, yeah, when they were like, oh, don't forget to vote. I'm like, when did they even start debating? And they're like, oh, they're doing it right now. And I was like, what? Our process is very quick. Yeah, very quick. Very it's like, quick. yeah, two months. America, I was like, what? America has that. I mean, I think it's because of the way America was built so that they built this sort of thing in there within it. Oh, because they knew that pageantry sells? No, like just <laughs> uh, uh, politics in general is what people want. They want their people to be thinking about like politics yeah i guess but it's like i feel like nobody no really but like it, and, and it's just inevitable that it would be it would get corrupted too right it's just what we do <laughs> i feel like nobody really cares about politics if you take away the pageantry i think what happened yeah, so the thing that happened no we really think about no, it no, right? No, no, like right. the, the town hall debates and all that they're like they're only 60 second spiels no, they're not town hall. They're just or, debates. You know, saying debates. Right? Yeah. yeah, it depends on how many people are on stage. But yes, that is what happens. Yeah. But once you cut, once you once it cuts down to like two, three people, then you have a bit more of a actual like you can actually listen to what they're saying, and does it make sense or not? But at the same time, like America is the the global stage. Yeah. Like we're playing Call of Duty right now. Yeah. Right. For you who are listening on iTunes, and it's like this was made in america yeah you know like culture is bred in america yeah global culture mm-hmm. right so it's like you can't bite the hand that feeds mm-hmm. that's how i always look at it you know that that's that's the like that's the uh, dualistic taoist perspective you can't bite the hand that feeds it's like you you hate on something but at the same time you're using that something yeah, no, you yeah. can, yeah. But there's always ways to make it better, right? That's I, the, I, I think that's the idea. Totally, no, because totally, if you yeah, look yeah. at the way... Incremental progress. Yeah, if totally. you look at... If you look at, uh, if you look at um, where America was a long time ago, uh, it's not what but, it is. Now. Totally, totally. But what I'm saying is I look at that with everything. Cause like, yeah. So I went to uh, that uh, Winter Legends, right? Mm-hmm. I was showing you the pictures of like the, um, the spare ribs. Yeah, yeah. Right? And like they were marinated for 12 hours and something like that right but then like at the end of it it was like there's like a burning coal keeping it warm underneath yeah, right? yeah, yeah. and i was like shout out to fossil fuels you know what i mean like because we're burning coal right but it's like can't bite the hand that feeds if you like the taste of this thing mm-hmm. like accept the fact that it was shipped here through trucks that was probably animal slaughter um, we're using coal to keep this thing warm. Yeah. You like this video game? Yeah, it's coming with plastic, and plastic's killing the environment. Yes, we understand this. Mm-hmm. You know, and then that's only on like a physical level. But then, what about like then people start getting into arguments of like, what about the psychological damage of killing people in these video games? You know what I mean? It's like, mm-hmm. yeah. dude, where do you draw the line, bro? Can't bite the hand that feeds. Like the game, cool. Leave it at that. You like the game? <laughs> you know what I mean? That's that's how I feel. I think generally the people that are playing the game are not thinking that. So and that's the other point. It's like nobody cares. Like most people don't care. Oh, yeah. climate change. That's cool, bro. No, because I know you it's get to level forty. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like. No, I mean most people don't cares. care because they're not. They're not worried. Like they're not thinking about these sort of things, right? Uh, it's not something that. But that's that's worry. that's the thing about politics. It's like, but it's it's ironic that like we care so much about ripping on a president. Yeah, we don't care enough to like really get involved in politics. Yeah, you know, there's so many famous uh, jokes. Of, like, uh, yeah, like, but like I don't know like how many, like what are the actual no, no, no. But what, what I'm saying is like there's this like Trump's there's this like a uh, Joe Rogan joke where it's like um, he's like yo politics. Uh, he's like uh, we we need to change the establishment. We gotta do all this, mm-hmm. and then it's like oh, did you vote? Like no, yo, voting don't work. <laughs> so it's like oh come on, man. Like yeah, so that yeah yeah biting the hand of feeds. Well, if they say that, then yeah, you know, then I, I generally, I, are there people that do that that say all that they don't vote? Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, hundred percent. I mean, a lot yeah. of people like to, that do that. Yeah, a lot of, lot of. Yeah, vocal then minorities. I don't know. Then I don't know why they're talking. Then they shouldn't be talking. Yeah, like, but that's a big thing, right? Everyone's got an opinion on a president, 
or like a world leader, mm-hmm. you know, whether it be like a prime minister in Canada or whatever, everyone's got an opinion, but it's like nobody's looking to fix it. We just want to complain. Right. It's like, just make it better. Or how? <laughs> I don't know. Just make it better. Right. Like, dude, you don't understand the intricacies of what's going on. Mm-hmm. That's why who run the world, bro? Girls. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying though? Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. It's like you, know, yeah. you need to focus on like the bigger issues. Like, oh man, it's making my brain hurt. You know, if if you're listening to this and you couldn't, even, yeah, you're like, oh, I can't listen to all this. Like, it's it's, it's too too deep for me. Mm-hmm. Well, there's the problem right there. You know, what I mean? right. like you can't even ask these questions. Like, like you shouldn't have a say if you can't think about it. Mm-hmm. That's funny because, like, you know, sometimes I. I think I voted this year, but like whenever I don't vote, um, my my parents are like like oh did you vote? I'm like I don't I don't know anything about what's going on. Like, <laughs> I feel like I shouldn't vote because I didn't look into it, you know? Right? Yeah. Or or it becomes like a political uh, it becomes like a familial thing. It's like vote for this person because they blah blah blah. I'm like okay whatever I don't care. <laughs> you know that sure. Right. It'll all work itself out. You know. Yeah. Unless there's something like so stark, like like if you vote for this person, you're we're gonna lose, we're gonna get like a fifty percent increase in our gas prices. Then I'd be like, I'm not voting for that guy. Mm-hmm. You know, unless there's something like so stark that you want to vote against it, I feel like every everyone's the same. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Like like right now, there's like the teacher strike, right? And then everyone's like, oh, it's because Rob Ford's in office, and like. Or is it wrong for it? Mm, yeah. You know, and, and like, you hear that all the time, right? Because when the conservatives are in power, then we're going to watch out for our teacher money. I'm like, is that true? I don't know. Yeah, I don't have to look at I, that. I, I don't know. 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 Like, is, is, that, is that true or is that bro science? Yeah. You know, are you just saying that? Or is there like statistical data that shows you that this is what's happening? And if there yeah. is statistical data, you should have lobbied harder. You know, yeah. did you go out and canvas for your position? No, you probably just voted. You know what I mean? Like, where do you draw the line? Like, when do you push yourself Mm -hmm. further? Like, how much do you believe in this cause? Right. Do I believe in it enough to go canvas a place and petition people to vote for my candidate? Or do I want to go to the movies tonight? Mm -hmm. (laughs) Right. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, I'd rather go to the movies. Okay, so you don't care that much. We make time for what we care about most. For me, it's just entertainment. I don't know why. Because it's like you see the silliness of the play. It's just a play. Yeah. Like I know uh, what's the right way, but I want to see what people do because what do they fall for? What kind of tri- yeah, totally. tricks works on that? And, but that's why I don't watch the news because it's like, like, all right, so like there's a lot of gun activity in Toronto right now. I'm like, is that more, is there more now or are you just reporting on it now? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, because I know gang violence has been going on for so long. But are you just reporting on it more now to create fear in us? Right. Well, you can actually look at the stats of how many gun deaths have happened year to year, right? Year over year. Yeah. Okay. And? Uh, I don't know myself. I have to look at it if it's increased or decreased. Has it been but that, those are the only ones that have been reported too, right? It's another thing. It's like, what do you mean reported, reported? Reported on the news? No, no, no. I mean like the gun deaths, right? But what about shootings in general? Is that they might not have died? But yeah, no, you you can get all those kinds of records. Like how many shootings have happened? Yeah, but only if it's been reported. Reported to the police. Police, you mean? yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. But some people don't report these things. You just hear it, and it's like, oh, it's gunshot again. No, I mean like you report it, yeah, but you gotta if you got hit, you gotta go to the top. Like no, no, no. But, all right, what do you mean? but let's say they don't get hit. Let's say just gun gun violence happens. Oh, like that. Yeah, there's just been a shootout. Right, and you don't report it. It's like, well, that was ignored. You know what I mean? Like you're only yeah, looking yeah. at that. But generally, of no, being I know hit. what you mean. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know what you're saying. But like generally, I don't believe in uh, statistics either. Like data, unless it's like, unless a scientist is telling me mm-hmm. how the data is affecting something. If I'm presented with statistics like marketed statistics no no you have to look at where those all. statistics are coming from of course yeah. like what yeah. what what are what, like where did no they, i so think I, I think there's a place for statistics but you got to look at who is doing those stats all right so so <laughs> i was in uh, i was in class one time uh when i was studying pr and then i mean the, yeah they, they were like this they had this special guest came in. i was like such a, like a shit disturber mm-hmm. just it's funny to me so like 
uh, there was there's this person who gave a presentation. They were like selling, um, they were doing a campaign for like texting and driving um, kills more people. Right. Right. So I was like, <laughs> it's like who funded the study? And they're like, oh, we we funded our own study. I was like, oh, that's weird. Like, what it what consisted of the test? Mm-hmm. And they're like, well, we had this person driving around a racetrack, and like we would we would. Um, they'd be on their phone and then we'd just throw things onto the road and see how fast they could react to it. Mm-hmm. And I was like, is that conclusive though? Like, you know, like, is this the best way to study that thing? But it's like, you're presenting your findings, which you funded in a specific manner in order to say something. Right. You know what I mean? Like, in order to make a statement true, we need to show statistics behind it. Yeah. But rather than doing an objective study, like scientific study, you know, what I mean, mm-hmm. with like clinical, like double blind placebo, that kind of stuff, right? Like, yeah, yeah. like really hammering it home. If you just do like a test where it's like, I'm just gonna throw stuff on the road. Is that the best way to get? And it's it? like, did you throw them at? Like, how did you intervals? angle? Yeah, yeah. Like, what was, was the intervals the same for with the person so those, with and without? Yeah, yeah. So you know? those, those, yeah. That, I mean, that sounds. Was very it the same driver driven. because yeah, there's so many errors? Yeah. Was it the same driver because the driver might have known when things were going to pop out? Maybe one driver's not as good as the other driver. Mm-hmm. You know, all these things come into play. So it's like you can't really, you can't really um, account for all of the variables. I mean, yeah, that's why you have to look into like how these studies are done. Yeah, right? totally. Yeah, like, and who who's running these studies? Yeah, there's a lot of things like getting involved now. Like I, but uh, there is a lot of merit to stats, generally. Uh, totally, but it, I I agree. Yeah, but it's like who's who's doing these stats? Yeah, or or how are you even framing the question to the per- like? I don't believe in surveys. When people are like, "Oh, we're mm. going to use surveys to." Um, gather data on our audience. Right. Right? That's a very common marketing thing. I have to deal with that all the time. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, but the way you write the survey is what's going to dictate. Yeah, what kind of question? Uh, well, the yeah, type how of are question you did you, it? how are we framing the question? Yeah. And who are you asking that question to? You right. know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So this is a thing that I'm um, talking about that too, uh, what I was reading recently, because Joe Biden did really, really badly in Iowa. Okay. And uh, uh, the question came into like, because the polls showed a different kind of number. And generally, who do the polls are older people, right? Uh huh. Yeah, it's totally. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. Because most people are just being like, I don't have time for this. Yeah, well, yeah, most of our age don't really care about that kind yeah, of stuff. Yeah, like, no, this poll's not going to work. Yeah. So, what is, it's funny to see them actually now like realizing, oh, wait, it's not. This isn't representative. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. That, exactly. Yeah. It's yeah. not representative. It's yeah. not correct. But we're reporting on it because it'll make us look better. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So it, it was interesting to see that. I, I won't I won't give away the exact thing, but I like I I worked on something mm-hmm. where like we we were asking these questions to these people. Yeah. And and we got like we're like oh our our marketing campaign wasn't working mm-hmm. right but then when i was like well what are you asking and then we found out that they were asking the person that wasn't even affected by the marketing campaign <laughs> so when we got back zero results is because we were asking the person that didn't even see the marketing campaign right so it's like so why didn't you ask the person who actually would have seen it mm-hmm. but like well we didn't think about that and it's like wrong person for the wrong job <laughs> so you're saying like right this is what our, our lives are built on yeah, yeah, yeah it's like you didn't you got the wrong person who's guessing when you should ask the person who has an actual like education experience in this mm-hmm. right so, yeah you know, right yeah it's crazy right like the, yeah. but that's 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 who run the world silly people <laughs> <laughs> who run the world people in the wrong position for the wrong job right because they are afraid to lose their job by being found out that they're phony <laughs> right yeah and when we run a world that's based off of fear as opposed to people who love what they do 
mm-hmm. then you're going to get the wrong people for the wrong job, which results in the wrong style of system. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But if you have the right people for the right job who love their jobs, you're going to have a system that's perfect because all people want to do is to make that thing the best that they can do mm-hmm. rather than just going home because of a paycheck. Right. Or like can yeah. happy over their yeah. paycheck. Yeah. Yeah. Good summary. <laughs> All right. So, any final thoughts? Uh, yeah. If we have universal basic, well, if income, you're from New Hampshire, go out vote Tuesday. <laughs> there you go. And uh, my final thought is, if we had universal basic income, we'd have more people in the right job for the <laughs> right thing, <laughs> right. the right person for the right yeah, job. Yeah, yeah. If we had universal basic income, right? Because you just get people like, nah, I don't want to do the job, bro. I'm getting enough money, right? You know, people who are really passionate about wanting to see change, they'll actually go get a job. It's almost like if everyone had universal basic income, the only people with jobs would be people who are excellent at their jobs because they'd go out of their way to be like, you know what? Let me let me see if we can change this for the better. Mm-hmm. Right? You know what I'm saying? Like, as opposed to being like, oh, man, I just graduated university. Now I got to go get a job. I'll get any job because I just want to live for the weekend. Right. You know what I mean? <laughs> But yeah, then, yeah, yeah. if if we all had universal basic income, then everyone would be like, "Man, I don't want that job," mm. you know. And yeah. then only the person's like, "I could probably make that better." Right. They'll get a real job. The, the only people that should have jobs are people that want to have jobs. Mm. Yeah. Right. In a perfect society. Yeah. If you want to play video games all day, do it, man. Universal basic income, you can do it. We'll just have a bunch of esports players. Yeah. True. You yeah. know. And then the people that are actually working are the people that are like creating the gaming for the esports people. Yeah. Yeah. Right. About that. Yeah, I mean, there are people that like gaming, making the games, right? Yeah, it's totally, yeah. yeah. And there are people that love just like having a simple life. Maybe they want to work at the gas station and like, you know, to them, it's just all about meeting new people every day and being like, hey, hope you have a great day. Yeah. I think it's inevitable, though, to have a bit universal basic income since robots will take over our jobs yeah exactly totally yeah exactly like it's it's coming yeah but when is it gonna come yeah if you watch the if you go watch ces they generally have it in the beginning of the month uh-huh. of january yeah. beginning of the year uh yeah you can see like the changes happening yeah robots are just yeah. gonna do everything yeah, yeah i saw like the there's um we're gonna be in robo world instead of water world <laughs> there was a uh, what was it a uh, pizza thing that this oh, robot just like was uh, making, just like uh, putting on was it black, uh, black mirror. So, yeah, it's, it's like, black mirror. and it makes sense, like why a company would eventually do that because, like, you, it's the same portions every time. Yeah, you can you can account for better. Exactly. It's, yeah. It, see, that's another thing. Like, if you if you take human emotion out of something, you know that the robot's not going to steal. Yeah. So everything will be perfectly accounted for. And that's what business people want. They want perfect accounting so they can manage their money accordingly so they can spend it on better things. Right. They're objective. Yeah. They're driven by the laws of the system. That's why you shouldn't have people with philosophy degrees being like presidents <laughs> and stuff. It made no sense. Yeah, go be a teacher or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah totally. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. So until next time, um, pray for Andrew Yang. To become president so that you can stay home and uh just listen to us and play video games <laughs> yeah universal basic income is the future mm. all right until next time take it easy peace